The Indian Air Force has taken a crucial step forward and has cleared its Su-30 fleet to be armed with the Israeli IDRB Extended Range Missile. One of the Su-30 aircraft was used to carry out series of aeromechanical integrity tests, to assess mechanical structural and electrical compatibility between the IDRB Extended Range variant and the Su-30 aircraft, and whether the vibrations, strain and stress can be handled by the aircraft. Under the Phase 1 of the captive flight trials, the Su-30 will carry a dummy IDERBY extended range missile for multiple sorties of 90 minutes each, that covers the entire flight envelope of the aircraft. The Phase 2 of the captive flight trials will be followed with the actual missile without the warhead, and the missile release mechanism will be tested before it is clear to be fired from the Su-30 aircraft. As we reported earlier, India's Astra Mark 1 and IDERBY extended range variant will now be standard beyond visual range air-to-air -air missiles in all fighter jets, while the Su-30 has also received a fresh batch of upgraded 120 km range of EVST missile from Russia, and will also test the 160 km range Astra Mark 2 by the second half of 2021. Mazagin Dock Limited will deliver the first Project 15B destroyer to the Indian Navy in November, and it will be followed by the delivery of the fourth Scorpion class submarine by the end of the current financial year. The Project 15B destroyers retain the hull design of the Kolkata class destroyers, but will incorporate advanced stealth features in combination with radar transparent deck fittings, that will make the destroyers difficult to detect. With the state-of-the-art weapons like vertically launched barricade surface-to-air missiles, BrahMos surface-to-surface missiles and advanced sensor package, the P-15B destroyers will be one of the world's most technologically advanced guided missile destroyers. According to latest reports, high cycle fatigue data was generated for the indigenously developed titanium alloy Beta-21S material which is intended to be used in AMCA airframe structural applications in high temperature zones. The titanium beta-21S material was developed as an oxidation-resistant aerospace material, and is designed to improve corrosion resistance, elevated temperature strength, as it is thermally stable at 816 degrees Celsius. It has a modulus of elasticity ratio almost twice of stainless steel, and is extremely resistant to aircraft hydraulic fluids, that also makes it an ideal candidate for aerospace engine applications. At a time when the HMS Queen Elizabeth and its strike group is conducting complex maritime exercises with the Indian Navy in the Bay of Bengal, the UK is also persuading the Indian Navy to buy the Rolls-Royce MT-30 next-generation propulsion system for India's second indigenous aircraft carrier. The Indian Navy is looking closely at the propulsion package, and Hindustan Aeronautics and Rolls-Royce had already signed a memorandum of understanding to establish packaging installation marketing and service support for Rolls-Royce MT-30 marine engines in India. After media reports that Russia's new Su-75 might be a low-cost trap, Russia's Rostec Corporation has said that Shukhoi has slashed the cost of Su-75 with artificial intelligence-assisted production methods, and by recycling some of the technologies previously developed for the Su-35 and Su-57. Experts have said that even if the price tag turns out to be slightly higher than the claimed $30 million due to customer-specific modifications, the SU-75 will still be in a position to offer solid value to certain customers, and will be a far better value proposition than the two competitors, French Rafale fighter jet and the Swedish Gripen. The Modi government has approved the establishment of an integrated multi-purpose infrastructure development corporation for the Union Territory of Ladakh, that will work for industry tourism transport and marketing of local products, and also as a main construction agency for the infrastructure development in the Ladakh region. The government has also announced a $102 million dedicated fund for establishing the first central university in Ladakh region. 
a pilot project in Ladakh to use hydrogen to power heavy transport vehicles could have military applications in the future, making the armed forces less dependent on fossil fuels that are transported across high altitude passes at a high cost. Thank <laughs> you.